Hey guys, Zoe here. So today I'm going to a project that I've been working on for a while and I actually posted a video about it about a, mu uh, about a month ago where we were putting uh, a brand new perennial garden in the back of the property uh, and the property already has a lot of established perennial gardens and established trees, uh, just a beautiful graceful uh, kind of space but it does have a lot of uh, holes where it just needs some work. So um, today I am going to be putting about 25 dahlias. I have some in the back here and of course my trusty companion who is like exhausted today. I don't know why. But um, so I'm going to be putting the dahlias in there because it just needs that bolder kind of flowers in there and the homeowner actually loves like bigger flowers peonies and like aliens and I thought dahlias for uh, kind of remainder of the summer would be just perfect by the way I'm also waiting for like this sm small window of where no rain we had rain every single day for like who knows how long I don't know about you guys but like we're drowning here in northern New Jersey <laughs> so um, anyway um, I'm hoping you know the sky is gonna clear up and I'm gonna plant these quickly and then I'll come back and show you the space and talk about it a little bit all right you guys this is the space in the back and the gravel area used to be informal pond uh, it was just too much maintenance for the homeowner so we decided to fill it in and make this very formal circle surrounded by boxwood hedges a beautiful obelisk in the middle with lavender and the perennial gardens around it the idea is to have this cottagey feel kind of bounty of different flowers and this garden is only month old so their uh, plants are still kind of filling in and um, so the palette the plant palette is uh, lots of gay feather and penstemon there is some gara there is some ladies mantle echinacea hydrangeas and there's some uh, dahlias i just planted also verbena bonariensis um, Joe Pai weed, so just like this full, full garden. I can't wait to see it mature. So the garden in the front is actually a very well established perennial garden that I uh, only added maybe 30% of plants there last year. So the um, obelisks that you see, the black obelisks, are actually from Gardener Supply. There's the plane again, gosh. Um, so those Gardener Supply obelisks, I have three here, and the homeowners really love them. And I said, uh, let's have like clematis growing up them. So you can see there's still some uh, peonies blooming that were existing we added some more actually the ito peonies and then there's the light blue here is amsonia um there's some uh, butterfly bush some more peonies the hollyhocks we had to spray for deer because the there's deer is just rampant in this area now never plant these um, yellow irises these are actually invasive we're uh, probably going to pull them out next year or maybe this fall so um, there's some Shasta daisies, again, some hollyhocks. Uh, some alliums are actually still blooming. We had such a cool and wet summer so far that a lot of plants are just behind. Uh, so this Ito peony, I actually got this right here. So pretty. Um, I actually got this one last year. And you know, they're very slow to establish. So you kind of don't get discouraged. If you get a peony it doesn't bloom for a while uh, but this is basically the overview of the space it's not pretty all right guys I'm all done and guess what the Sun is out <laughs> so I will keep you updated on this garden as it matures throughout the season there is uh, one note that I wanted to make about the yellow iris that I showed you in the video. It's Iris sudacaris, or also called yellow flag iris. It is uh, indigenous to Europe and it is highly invasive in uh, northern United States. So obviously don't ever plant it, but I also whenever I encountered, uh, encounter it either in my uh, client's properties or like in the public park somewhere, 
uh, my recommendation is to remove it. So I actually, I think I convinced the homeowner to remove it. M maybe we'll see. But um, th and this is the thing, like a lot of times in your garden, you kind of have control over what you can plant or not. But if it's somebody else's garden and they really love the plant, um, there is a little bit of education that goes on to explain why this plant should not be planted. Um, or propagated. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make that note. And if you want to learn more about natives, uh, I am happy to make a video about that. We actually did plant a lot of natives in this garden as well, like Amsonia, Joe Pye Weed, Penstemon, which are all like amazing pollinators. So thank you so much for watching. And again, I will be updating you about this garden. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and uh, I really appreciate you watching my channel, guys. You have no idea how much it matters to me. So um, I'll see you next time. If you have any questions or comments, as per usual, post them in the comment section below. And next time.